Uh, well, we got to enjoy another near perfect day here in central North Carolina. We've got ourselves a doozy of a hurricane down in the Caribbean. I'll jump into that a little later. Let's talk about our great weather, though. Sun shining, clear skies out at NC State Centennial Campus here in Raleigh, where it's 76 degrees, couple degrees warmer down the road at Davis Drive Elementary School in Cary, equally as sunny skies. A few fair weather clouds down in Fayetteville as we look live at Segra Stadium in Cumberland County, where it's 77 degrees. We could get used to this, couldn't we? Low humidity, temperatures in the 70s, plenty of sunshine. Hopefully, you got out to enjoy it today. Today. We've got low 70s up by the Virginia border. Again, mid to low 70s here in the triangle, mid to upper 70s down in the Sand Hills. And the temperatures will go up a little more tomorrow before our next dry cold front comes through. But here's what we've got tonight. Again, mostly clear and dry. Temperatures fall down into the 60s once the sun goes down. We'll fall through the low 60s as we go hour by hour overnight. Early tomorrow morning, we're stuck in the 50s. Remember this morning and yesterday morning, it was in the 40s. So we're a little bit warmer, but still cool as we'll start off around 54 degrees. And there's that same ridge of high pressure providing us with nearly perfect weather, keeping the clouds and rain showers down to the south. If you want to call some friends and family down along the coast of South Carolina, kind of rub it in a little how much nicer our weather is than theirs. Again, it's all thanks to that high pressure kind of pushing everything down to the south. It's not going to last forever though, but it will last for the rest of this work week. Tomorrow, everything shifts around so much where we get a little bit more of a southerly wind and it will be breezy. You're going to notice that tomorrow. But the cold front comes through tomorrow night. So we're able to warm up during the day. The front comes through with nothing more than a little bit of wind and a few fair weather clouds otherwise staying dry and then cooling back off on Thursday and Friday as another ridge of high pressure moves in. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be a drastic drop in temperatures, but we will fall back down into the 70s after a brief rise into the 80s. And then this weekend, again, nothing lasts forever. The leftovers of Hurricane Delta will be headed up the East Coast. It now looks like Sunday is going to be the wetter day than Saturday because the system slowed and shifted a little more to the west. But the weekend's not going to be a washout. Just the better chance of rain on Sunday with a few scattered showers later in the day on Saturday. Okay, that's this weekend. We still have several more days of this great weather, including tomorrow. Now, tomorrow warms up a bit. We'll be in the mid-80s for highs down in the Sand Hills. You guys along the I-95 corridor from Wilson to Rocky Mount to Goldsboro, about 82 degrees. And then mid to low 80s here in the Triangle. And while we enjoy some amazing weather, our friends down in Mexico and the Caribbean are preparing for a monster of a storm. Delta is now a Category 4 hurricane with 145 mile per hour winds. Expected to make landfall in Cancun sometime tomorrow, then move into the Gulf and head for Louisiana later this week. Remember, we've got the leftovers here. Not significant, but we will have rain here Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow, breezy and warm. Then the dry cold front moves through, dropping us to 80 on Thursday. 70s return Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But watch out for scattered showers this weekend. Then on your 10-day forecast next week, a few showers to start off with 70s most of the week.